In the eight years he's been in power, Xi Jinping has replaced the leader of the Central Security Bureau, which is the agency in charge of his personal safety, three times. He also replaced a total of four commanders and three commissars in the Beijing garrison, the military unit that protects the capital city. His actions are unprecedented in the history of the Chinese Communist Party. Is she feeling threatened? Hi, welcome to Lei's Real Talk. I'm Lei. The number of bodyguards Xi Jinping uses has been the talk of the town. When he visited Guizhou this past February, an aerial video showed that there were at least 40 bodyguards surrounding him before he entered his limo. When he visited Hong Kong in 2017, a viral video showed six bodyguards running alongside his limo when it first started to accelerate. During the 2021 two sessions meeting in March, people talked about Xi's two tea mugs when all other leaders only had one. Was it to show his status or was it a security measure to prevent poisoning? The political struggle within the CCP isn't about winning or losing, it's about life and death. There have been numerous rumors about assassination and coup attempts targeting Xi by his political enemies, including a bomb in his office and a poisonous needle during a physical exam. These rumors have not been verified until recently. Recently, on September the 14th, various Chinese online media, including NetEase and Sohu, quoting an internal government document, revealed that a former director of the Security Bureau in Jiangsu province, Luo Wenjin, conspired an attack on the CCP leader attending a commemorative event in Nanjing. The article implied an attempted assassination. The article did not specify the targeted leader, but Chinese netizens quickly figured out that in December 2017, Xi Jinping attended a memorial event of the Nanjing massacre in Jiangsu, and Luo Wenjin was in charge of the security. It's the first time that mainland Chinese media reported an assassination attempt against its leader. No matter how badly CCP factions have fought with each other, they rarely show their dirty laundry to the public. The fact that it's aired now means that the infighting has gotten out of control and that she is facing an unprecedented threat. The Central Security Bureau is the office in charge of protecting the leader and the security of Zhongnanhai, which is the CCP leadership compound. It's usually staffed by security personnel nicknamed Zhongnanhai bodyguards and managed by a close aide of the party leader. During the reign of all previous leaders, individuals in this position didn't change very often, but Xi Jinping has gone through three security chiefs since 2015. Instead of using security personnel, she changed the tradition and chose military personnel for security. And this past July, Major General Zhou Hongxu, the former deputy chief of staff of the People's Liberation Army in the Northern Theater, was put in charge of the Zhongnanhai bodyguards. His deputy is Major General Chen Denglu of the 91st Infantry Division of the 31st Army. Although these military officers lack professional security experience, Xi Jinping trusts them more than anyone because they are from the military and not as corrupt as the public security apparatus, which is the most corrupt part of the CCP. Besides being corrupt, the agency is also notorious for carrying out the persecution of innocent Chinese citizens, such as Falun Gong, underground Christians, Uyghurs, Tibetans, human rights lawyers, and the list goes on. In 2014, Xi Jinping sent Zhou Yongkang, the former head of public security, to life in prison on corruption charges. Zhou was nicknamed the public security tiger for his atrocities and was the highest ranking CCP official ever tried and convicted of corruption. Even though Zhou has been imprisoned for seven years, his influence still exists and remains a threat to Xi. Luo Wenjin, the official in Jiangsu who planned an attack on Xi, wasn't alone. A handful of public security officials have been reprimanded, including Luo's boss and the public security chiefs in Chongqing, Shanghai, and Shanxi. But these provincial officials can't plan a coup on their own. There must be someone supporting or directing them in Beijing. 
On September the 30th, Central Commission for Discipline Inspection announced that former Deputy Minister of Public Security Sun Jun was investigated for his swelling political ambitions and gangster behavior. The unusually strong wording of the announcement suggested that Sun was involved in an attempted coup against Xi. Two days later, the commission announced that Fu Zhenghua, the former Minister of Justice, is also under investigation. Both Sun and Fu have been very cruel in persecuting pro-democracy students in Hong Kong, human rights lawyers, and Falun Gong practitioners. In fact, Sun was a deputy director of the 610 office, a secret Gestapo-type group established on June 10, 1999, for the sole purpose of persecuting Falun Gong. Fu was a director of the 610 office. Various sources have said that Fu had been eavesdropping on Xi Jinping and that Sun was directly involved in an assassination attempt in 2020 during the pandemic. As ambitious as Sun and Fu are, they're only minister-level officials, and they're too low in the ranks to orchestrate a coup against Xi. There must be someone higher behind them. Who is that? The first suspect is Meng Jianzhu, the public security head who took Zhou Yongkang's position when Zhou was removed. It's said that Sun, Fu, and Meng were a diehard gang. But Meng is still not Xi's real opponent because he doesn't have enough influence to overthrow Xi. So who is behind Meng? This leads us to the one who poses the biggest threat to Xi Jinping, former Politburo Standing Committee member Zhen Qinghong. Zhen is a staunch supporter of Jiang Zemin, the former party secretary general. Jiang and Zhen are the founders of the Jiang faction. Today, the power struggle at the highest level of the CCP is concentrated in the struggle between Xi's faction and Jiang's faction. Since Jiang is 95 years old and may be bedridden, Zhen has assumed the role of the faction's godfather. The struggle between the Xi and the Jiang Gans is now the fight between Xi and Zhen. In my next video, I will talk about who Zhen is and the ugly fight that has been unfolding, as well as how Obama and Biden have saved Xi Jinping once from a coup. As a side, I just want to mention an interesting charge brought against Sun Li Jun. He was accused of secretly storing confidential materials by the regime. Sun has a master's degree in public health from the New South Wales State University in Australia. After the pandemic broke out, he was sent to Wuhan to manage public security. A Hong Kong businessman, whistleblower Yuan Gongyi, said that Sun secretly sent confidential materials he took from the Wuhan Institute of Virology to his wife in Australia but the information was intercepted by Australian authorities. Immediately after that, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison demanded an investigation into the origin of the coronavirus. We cannot verify this, but I think it explains why Scott Morrison was the first head of state to publicly demand an investigation. He probably has all the evidence. That's all for today. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.